everyone. Today I'm talking about Eric Johnson's fragmented pentatonics. And one thing that I always cover with uh, my one-on-one -on -one students is really get to know that 5-1-2, the fifth position and the first and second that's right down here in your E minor pentatonic. And of course, you know, that's what EJ uses a, a lot, especially Cliffs of Dover, the E minor pentatonic. But you can get some really awesome stuff that you hear like Joe Bonamassa and Eric Gales do as well, both guys that take from EJ heavily. So you've got that fifth position right down here at the uh, a 9 and 12th fret. So you want to put these together probably on the D and G string. That. So, you know, that gives you those middle two strings. So get to know those three positions. And then, of course, you're going to uh, kind of uh, insert in the E, B, and A in top E string. So that's going to give you the whole thing. So that uh, a lot of that would be like where you get this. That second position right there. And you're right back to the first position right there above the octave, which you can hang with for a long time. Etc. You know, and then you're right back to your fifth position. So, you know, that's really a, a really a beneficial thing to do. I saw John Mayer refer to that as the pentatonic equator. I think that's a great term for that because when you're connecting that five position with the one right there, every note that's on the 12th fret is common. So it's like, then, so that, you know, you could just sit all day and just rock out with that circular kind of motion.